Partisan redistricting, or gerrymandering, is about fractions, percentages. These coins represent voters in an evenly divided state. 50 dimes, 50 pennies. These 100 coins elect 10 representatives. That means each voting district must contain 10 coins. Now, real people don't live in neat rows, so let's mix them up. Okay, this is our hypothetical, evenly divided state. Let's see what happens if the dimes draw the maps. Ten coins in each district. For the dimes, first thing we do is pack the pennies. Give them two safe districts, but pack them solid. The remaining eight districts are won by the dimes, by smaller but still comfortable margins. The dimes win eight districts, and the pennies win two. The dimes overwhelmingly control the legislature. Of course, if the pennies drew the district lines, the opposite would be true. Let's rig it for the pennies. For the pennies, we follow the same pack and crack strategy. Pack the dimes into two safe districts and crack the remaining eight districts to win by the same margin, eight to two. Well, now that we've destroyed democracy, let's consider what this map would look like if the districts were drawn for compactness and keeping communities of interest together. You get evenly divided districts in an evenly divided state. Some go heavily dime, some go penny, but that's to be expected. People live where they live, and that is what democracy is about. It's not about party bosses rigging election districts so they can fix the election results.